Okay, it happens again. It is happening again. Twin Peaks. Nah, just kidding. Star Wars. We are continuing the saga. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Now, we already watched Phantom Menace. I was going to say Phantom Pain. I'm glad I stopped myself. Uh, we watched that the other day. We're about to start Attack of the Clones, Episode 2 yeah. of the Star Wars saga. Um, I wanted to point this out just real quick. This is the Blu-ray box set that originally came out. I did like that. I didn't buy this because I thought they mangled Return of the Jedi, so I didn't buy it. So I had to borrow this from my dad. But I liked that it was in one uniform thing. Like it just like that cover. I thought that was kind of slick, mm -hmm. you know, Anakin and then the, you know, Luke, whatever. But some of the artwork inside looked like it should be on the side of a van. Ow. Like I don't like like seriously. Some of the there's like airbrushed artwork in here. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to see it, but like, like bad airbrushes. Of yeah. Like um, characters on the carnival ride. Fuck yeah. Like, I don't know. Like that, that was just kind of like, eh, all right. That looks like uh, it should be on like the annihilator ride at the Del Mar County Fair. Yeah. Like this return, I'm like blocking the light, but this return of the Jedi are right. You know, it's just kind of like chintzy. I don't, I don't yeah, know. That, that, is weird. that was weird, but it was kind of nice having them all in one uniform box where it said the complete saga back when it was the complete saga. Mm -hmm. Anyway. All right. Attack of the clones. What do you know about this one? Absolutely nothing. I don't so, know. I knew about some of the stuff in the first one, like pod racing yeah. and stuff like that. Yes. I have no idea about this movie. So you're I, actually completely, completely blind on Attack of the Clones. I have no idea what happens in this Hell movie. Yeah. Do you have any guesses? No. I, I don't. <laughs> at not, all. Not really you in the name? Like, uh, what was the name of it? Clone Wars? Attack, Attack of the Clones. Star Wars? Yeah. I don't remember Star Wars. the names. Uh, there's going to be a, there's gonna be Attack. Of possibly some clones okay. at some point. Do you know about clones in general? Do, do you remember this in, in uh, the original Star Wars, the first yeah. one? Uh, when Obi-Wan's chilling in the living room with uh, Luke, he says, like, your father, I, I served with your father in the Clone Wars. Did you ever hear that line? No. So you uh, did, oh, so wait, you, I did. I did. I remember that. So you, okay, so you heard about the Clone you, so you We briefly heard about the Clone Wars. Yeah, yeah. it was yeah. like a throw... No, it was I mean, a throwaway, it was a throwaway line. line. Yeah, yeah, it kind of was. Yeah. And I remember as a kid, that was one of the things that fascinated me the most was what is the clone wars yeah. like so that was always a big mystery of yeah. like what is we have to see the clone wars whatever those are and so this when they announced that this was called attack of the clones it was like whoa but what about the actual clone did you wars? ever watch the clone wars tv show no no the I mean, cartoon looked, on cartoon that looked like garbage yeah i didn't i wasn't yeah, into that, that. that the, like the, the first one was done by Gendy Tartakovsky, who did like Samurai oh, Jack. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, that's yes, what I'm talking that about. Was, that yeah. one. The CG one, I didn't care. Sky no. Guy and all that no, that's, shit. That's yeah. the fuck off one. We're talking about the one back in, like, right after this movie came out. It was on Cartoon uh, Network. Yeah. And it was like that Samurai Jack style of, of uh, and, animation. And a couple of them actually tie into three, episode yeah, three. Like, really. they were, they kind of pulled an Animatrix thing with it. It was a it was a complete prequel that, like, fed into the beginning of that movie. Cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool, actually. I dug it. But anyway. I liked it. Hey, people like the CG one, too. People also really like Rebels. Yeah. So, you know, I should give them a shot. I mean, I shouldn't yeah. talk talk smack. But uh, I just never really was yeah, interested. That, that I'm one, only into the movies, really, you know. That one girl calls Obi Wan or Anakin Sky Guy. So like, yeah, that I saw that in theaters, and I was like, "All right, can we leave?" <laughs> um, anyway, so you don't know anything going Nothing. in. All right, are you excited? Scared? Nervous? I'm I'm a little nervous because I don't know. Again, I don't know what to think about this. You said you said last time you haven't been disappointed by Star Wars. Not yet. Still have so, not been disappointed by anything Star Wars. Okay, so we'll see what you think so. tonight. Yeah, I'm not knocking on wood. This is actually <laughs> one of the longer Star Wars movies. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is like two, I gotta go to bed. Two twenty something. It's actually a longer, uh, longer one. Uh, they're typically uh, pretty flat too. This one's almost two and a half. So okay. anyway, you're in for some fucking Clone Wars. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna watch it. See what he thinks. Will he love it? Will he hate it? You decide. Pause it. Sit on it. And then come back. That sounded like an insult, but Sit all right, on it. yeah, we're gonna yes. watch. Here we go, yes. Attack of the Clones. All right, you see it. Proof is in the pudding. You know, we watched the movie. There's the proof right there. We didn't just skip to the credits. The end credits are playing. We just watched Attack of the Clones. We finished it. Again, Kevin went into that ice cold, not knowing anything. All right, we just finished the movie. Thoughts off the cuff. What'd you think? 
these movies aren't that bad. No! <laughs> no! 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 These movies, out of the original trilogy and, trilogy and the new one, yes. these are the worst ones. Yes. But these aren't that bad. But you're enjoying them? Yes. Yeah. You know, even tonight, I went into this one. The last time I watched these, I was most bored by this one. I yeah. was like, I, I think, and I still think, this one's a little long in the tooth. Okay. Like, I felt like it... When, once you start, it's like the eighth time that C-3PO's head is in the wrong place and the the battle, I feel like, kind of, ca- I, I just remember by the end being kind of like, all right, okay, wrap this up. But uh, but even tonight, I was going, eh, not as bad as I remember. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's not, uh, I still, I still have my, I mean, my opinion on the movie hasn't changed, but yeah. it wasn't like miserable watching it, you know, whatever. Uh, I, I agree. I was kind of struck watching it this time, like, there's a lot to laugh at. Yeah. Like Anakin being a fucking creep. Yeah, that that poem. stuff is just, fucking. That stuff's yeah. hacky. But there's good the, stuff the Obi Wan stuff is fun. I do like that. Like, yeah. But the Anakin shit is just so. Yeah. What do you think of that? It stuff? hurts I, I me like the goofy and yeah. Um, this it's was, pretty laughable. Um, Phantom Menace was better than this. I, yeah. I, I, I agree. Yeah. With oh, that. really? You think so? Because so you I, like the first one more. I, I, well, the villain's better in in that one. Like I yeah. Think, I, I think uh, Darth Maul is. Cool. Yeah, yeah, Dark Maul was do- and he's not. Oh, you're not a Dooku head. It, I'm, I'm not you don't a fan like of Dooku, Dooku doing like. I'm not a Dooku fan. Like that's yeah. all he does the whole movie. Dooku yeah, shit. But, but these movies are not that bad. But you did like this one a little less than the first yes, one. I will say that is interesting because that's always that's always been the debate is yeah. is this actually a war? Because when this came out, people were like, oh, way better than the first one. Because I think people were just sick of the get. Jar-Jar. People hated Jar Jar, yeah, honestly. Yeah. They hated Jar Jar, they hated the goofy shit. This movie did reduce that, but then after a few years, it was like, maybe that one's a little more boring than the first one. Yeah, there's more Star Wars in Phantom Menace, yeah. if that makes any sense. Yeah. Like, uh, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, it's mm-hmm. like, it feels like Star Wars through a lot of that. Yeah. And this one is like, this is why everyone jokes about the like the boring talks in hallways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like when they're in that... Uh, when in the temples. In or temple. in, it's always just them walking on bad green screen. Cause yeah. You know, it looks like something out of like uh, Tim and Eric when they're like doing the <laughs> walks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that stuff is... Yeah, like we were kind of talking about it through the movie that there yeah. is a really cool Obi-Wan like spy movie... Yeah, kind of hidden in the middle of this. That stuff was and, really cool, and it really kills me that Disney did all these spinoffs, or well, the two, and now they're like, oh, so people hate it. So, oh, what? Why did they do Solo? Have you and McGregor as Obi Wan yeah. during, well, like before the old movies or yeah. whatever? Yeah. And just, I mean, the most entertaining parts of this movie are him sleuthing around. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a movie of that. Yeah. Why? Why was their instinct to do young Han Solo? Like that would have been you and McGregor's great as Obi Wan. I mean, what do you think? You like him? I think he does a great yeah. job. I do. I think he's. I think. I I think he's the best part of the prequels. Frankly, yeah. Yeah. My, my opinion. But uh, the fact that they—it's inconceivable to me—they wouldn't have gone to that first. You know, yeah, I don't. know. I agree because you know what? This is just off the top of my head. That do a movie about how maybe you write a plot that Obi Wan gets wind that the Empire has a beat on Luke. Or yeah, something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and there's a little movie in there of like, you would have but, never need to know it because the whole thing was he kept it a secret. Yeah. But yeah. he was out doing something that was of importance. Yeah. That fits but we might there. we might be getting a little ahead of ourselves in the storyline here, yeah, though. But, no, that's not, but anyway, yeah. but Anakin, what do you think of the older Anakin, Hayden Christensen? What's your take? Uh. I better than young Anakin for sure. So you like him better than the kid? Yeah, the, I don't think the kid was that great. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think, I think uh, Any the, the, kid... line, the lines were goofier in this, but I thought yeah. the acting was better. Yeah. What do you um... think about them falling in love after he's just professed to murder and hatred? <laughs> yeah. He's like that never hit me I so hard you. before. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't know. Some, some like. So that's, that's just what you happens. Hey, you can't help who you Tuskins. love, man. Yeah. You can't help yeah, who you that, love, dude. That is something that, again, watching these most recently struck me as crazy. That, like, they meet when he's nine. Yeah. They see each other again ten years later, and they fall in love. Like, that is just kind of a wild premise. Yeah, yeah. It is a little weird. Yeah. Um, but that wasn't that wasn't the part I had the most issue with. I you know, I remember see, I remember after this movie came out, going to school the next day, uh, uh, and... Um, and I remember a kid in my, I think it was Spanish class, he was like, you know, Anakin Skywalker, you could have 
asked any actor on earth to play that role. Yeah. So why did we get someone who, like, people were kind of, you know what I mean? It was yeah. kind of like, who is this fucking guy? Mm-hmm. Like, um, I think people have come around to appreciate him. I think people were so hard on him at the time. And I think he's yeah, better in the next one. Who plays him yes. in the third one? It's still him. It's Tom no, Hanks. No, no. no uh, do you know they talked to Leonardo DiCaprio for yeah. that role? Oh, but wow. he didn't take it. That would be good. Yeah. That would have been that rad. Cool. But he probably read the script and went, ooh. ooh. I hate no, sand. What is look that at that shit? stinker. Um, yeah, people have come around. I yeah. think people realize that they were way too hard on him. They were. For doing his yeah. best. And now he's like, he goes to cons. And people love seeing People CNN. fucking love him there. Because yeah, right? yeah. I think, I, yeah, it came around. Mm-hmm. I think people. To be yeah. fair, he did the best with the fucking shit lines that he was getting. Yeah. yeah. He didn't write those that's, lines. That's, that's it. At the end of the day, it really is. It's George Lucas writes awkward ass scripts. That's what it is. Mm. Not even the story or whatever. It's just the scripts. But I will say, watching this this time, I did enjoy kind of, there's a lot of conspiracy shit happening in this movie. And I did enjoy that more than I remembered. Like yeah. that, that, you know, I like that layer to it. But, uh, I already saw it. Oh, I've been watching a long time. Yeah, yeah it's been but, a while. I, All I, the way through, maybe eight nine years. Ago. I in the when I in the past when I would watch it, I would skip through all the scenes where they were talking on like Naboo and everything. Like I didn't give a fuck about. <laughs> I just wanted to see uh, Obi Wan yeah. being this you know sleeping around. It was like yeah. I right, falling in love and skip. Yeah, but I uh, I do think Episode One is a little more vivid and Gonzo of a movie, so I think I probably like it more now with time, mm-hmm. but. Man, when this came out, Kevin, there were rumors forever. Dude, Yoda's going to fight. No, they're not going to do that. They'll never do that. They're not going to do that. I hear he's going to fight. No, 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 no. So I'm tell when that fucking scene came yeah. on and he pulled his lightsaber up, oh, the, the theater was like standing up. It was like, no, no, no. Because, you know, to that point, we never saw him CG. Yeah. We never, to us, he was always a crippled little puppet. Yeah. So to hear, like, no way. He would have a fight. Why would he have a fight scene? I don't think I've that was still mind ever been blown. in a theater that got that. That's like yeah. the loudest I've ever that, been in. I've when never he, seen anything he, like, like that. Force over his lightsaber and brought yeah. it up. <sighs> And he actually he spun like fucking Sonic. Yeah, yeah that was crazy. Now I want to know before I say anything, Kevin. What did you? How did you feel about him fighting? I thought it was cool. I did think it was cool. I knew. Did you knew that was in there? I did. Yeah. I knew he fought. I just yeah. didn't know what movie. Oh, and okay. so I saw it there. I'm like, okay, it was this yeah. movie. I thought it was cool. I liked it because uh, there's but, a lot of discussion about how that's too much. That it's yeah. silly to have this character that was a puppet doing all these flips. You know, yeah, that never bothered me. I thought that was cool. Step up. So yeah, I, I thought it was. Yeah. The fan, you got to, you got to step up. Yeah, I, I liked him up. going outside of. You didn't expect that. I love yeah. that. I felt that way for a long time, but again, I probably haven't seen that fight scene yeah. in the whole context of the movie in eight years. Yeah, I watched this time and maybe it was some influence of you guys because obviously you were really excited when it came on. Yeah, you two were like vocalizing that yeah maybe that influenced a little bit but i was like oh this is cool what are people on yeah i liked that fight is really but i but i will take it back and say that uh him being cg sucks the wind out of that character to me in this movie yeah i know they did it i know they did it because they wanted him to do shit he couldn't do as a puppet but he's he's just wooden and boring in this movie and i yoda is a great character Mm -hmm. to me to not have a he should be a puppet like that yeah like fucking weirds me out yeah now the movie yeah, I, uh, the CG of him though in three was much better. I feel like he moves more like the puppet, where he's yeah. kind of like not quite right. And I thought, I thought they did a better job. But anyway, that was one thing that bugged me this time. But anyway, okay. most important question: yeah. Yeah. How'd that blue milk look? Delicious. Oh it come on, so it's a blue good milk scene. and refreshing. Yeah. Like it was set on a nice Dude, plate. She serves it to him during when he's explaining stuff. his genocide that he it, did. Uh, it, it looked like it was almost with like cookies and stuff. It looks yeah. so no, the blue. Come on. Good. It, it almost looks like it has like a fruity, like a melon yeah. flavor. Yeah. yeah. No, totally. yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. That no, looked no, delicious. It, looked like it didn't shit. look stinky. It didn't look hairy. No, it came from a bantha. It Everyone, Google like bantha. Purple. Google bantha. You think that's gonna go look up a bantha, dude? That sounds like an insult. Go look up a bantha. I'm telling you, milk from any animal is delicious. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> we were talking about this before. There's no bad milk. Yeah. No. Yep, no. never been bad milk. Fuck no. that. All right, whatever. <laughs> Making fun of me. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, though, all right, what do you think, though, on the... So, episode one, you like more. Yeah. Still, no disappointment in, in terms of the Star Wars well, franchise. Uh, well, hey, honestly, he made it out. 
Because yeah, this is the worst. Three, this is three the worst is of the prequels is the best of the prequels. Yeah. Three, anybody, even people who dissed it, they left going, well, of the prequels, that was the best. I mean, they. Yeah. it's rare for number three to be the, you know, in any group of movies. Yeah. Number three is never. So I do give them credit that three is the best one of this group, but. Uh, I know people who. You made it out alive. Yeah. I know people who think uh, Revenge of the Sith is better than some of the original ones. I do too. I know a lot of people that are like, oh, really? better than Return of the Jedi, which I've yeah. never fucking agreed agree with. with. No, it, not at all. To me, to me, it's still stuck in this uh, wooden kind of thing that makes it not as good as the old ones at all. But, but it's got some cool shit. It does have some cool shit, wouldn't I, you say? I, I've seen a lot of... Oh, I, I like three of the, the most. Yeah, the it is an enjoy... It, it, it's got some cool shit. I've seen a lot of younger people who like weren't watching these yeah. at, growing up who watched all of the Star Wars movies like in a, a bunch. And a yeah. lot of them have like rankings of the movies yeah. that greatly differ from people who watched them at the time. Yeah, and a lot of them include three, like you're saying. Yeah, and, and I think three's a big pretty high up. Like, younger people, yeah. it's just like a different... It's a different been, expectation of it. They didn't wait all those years yeah, for exactly. episode one. It's also yeah. got like the most action out of cool. any of the movies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I definitely. It's definitely the and best. That's of not life. a diss to people who like it more. No, 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 no. It's, it's just, just not my take. Different yeah. point of view. Yeah. Which you're going to hear them talk about a lot in this next one. All comes down to point of view. Don't forget that, guys. Mm. Remember, the, your point of view might be different than somebody else's. Okay. No. no. I, what? No. Okay. So there's no difference in point of, points of view. Oh, there's only one. Right? Oh, there should only be one. Did you like that part in the movie when he said they should be made to agree? Yeah. And then it's like, oh, he was joking. No, <laughs> just kidding. There is a classic. Le- Vader there joke. is some foreshadowing that's a little heavy-handed in this. No. And I, and I Do you think, think it's, it's when he murdered us all those people? Uh, <laughs> that's part of it. No, I, I think it's because it's not foreshadowing in the sense that you only learn about what it means in retrospect. We yeah. know where it's going. Yeah. So they really need to show you, like, this is him turning. Yeah. But to me, it's like, oh, man, that's a little, uh, a I little did, heavy, isn't it? I did like that Tuscan part when I when I originally yeah. saw it. I was like, fuck, this is, we're starting to see it. Yeah. You know, we're starting to see Vader come out. And yeah. I did, at the time, well, that drove me nuts. At the end, when Padme goes, later, Vader, I figured it. Oh. Like, <laughs> I get it. Like, I knew oh, what was coming up. You got that's it. That's a great yeah. point. You said, hasta la Vader. Yeah. Anyway, all right. That's enough said about Attack of the Clones. Any other pi- final thoughts? No, I thought that was great. And so I'm stoked to see the, the last <laughs> one I haven't seen so, yeah. out of the episodes. And I'm, I'm, looking forward I'm to curious it. if you'll really like the third one or be like, eh, same as the other ones. <laughs> you know, honestly, you know, yeah. good or bad, whatever. I, I'm curious mm-hmm. how, how what your range will be on it. Anyway, all right, that's it, everybody. Attack of the Clones in the bag. Got the Tatooine uh, Autopia style mug. So just take a minute to appreciate that. If it would focus the fucking camera, maybe I could show you. (laughs) All right, there it goes. We got loose uh, ninja hands there because that's just what we do. We got a cliffhanger in 4K on Blu-ray. We got AirPods. AirPods. Check those. Dude, check out. Look up AirPods. Everyone at home, look those up. Have you heard of these things? They're wild. Dude, they don't have wires, and this thing wouldn't fucking focus. I buy wires for mine. I I buy the wires. Yeah, me too because what what if you – yeah, didn't have wires. They fall so. out of my ears a lot, but I I liked having the wires. Yeah, that way there's a wire instead yeah. of not having a wire. Yeah, yeah I agree. Um, you got Bucky's uh, towel, and uh, dude, I just want to show. Dude, I gotta show you this real quick. Uh, I gotta show you this real quick, dude. Shredder. Oh fuck! I got Shredder. 